All right, so we're going to work through some of these uh, problems from the probability basics assignment just so you can see them and get used to them. Uh, and, you know, hopefully this clears up some confusions as they, as they show up. Uh, and so we're, our event here is choosing a letter from the alphabet. And it's looking for the sample space first. Remember, sample space is you're just going to put squiggle brackets. And you're going to list the letters of the alphabet, which there's 26 of them. Uh, take a moment to write down the 26 letters and put a comma between them. And voila, there you go. The entire alphabet with commas between them. Uh, sample, space, sample space is kind of large. There's 26 things, uh, but that's okay. Moving on to part B. We're going to list a subset of the letters in the word mathematics, um, which, again, you're not going to put any repeats. On all these sets, don't put repeats. Uh, and you can, you could put these out of order, you know, you can do M, A, T, H, E, don't write M again, don't write A again, don't write T again, and then you got I, and then C, and S. So you're looking at that. Uh, or you can put this in alphabetical order, you just kind of go through and write down the letters. You got A, C, E, H, I, uh, M, S, and T. Um, I kind of prefer this one just because, you know, if you put things in the same order, it's easy to see what's the same and what's not. Uh, and the next one, you're going to write the letters in the word Pythagorean. Uh, I'm going to let you do that. So take a moment to write down the letters in the word Pythagorean. All right, I went with the uh, alphabetical ones because I know what's coming up. we got to compare these. All right, we need to find the union of the two subsets of the words mathematics and Pythagorean, uh, which means those are all the letters that's in either of the two. Uh, and so I'm gonna look through my list here and write down all the unique letters. I'm basically just putting the two sets together. So you got A, we got C, we got E, we got G and H and I and M and N and O and P and R and S, T and Y. Yeah, so I, I was just looking, okay, we got A's and C's and G's, and you know, you just kind of go through and write down all the letters that are in both. The intersection is going to be looking at a list here and writing down the letters that are in both of them. So let's have you try that out. Go ahead, scroll the bracket, and write down the letters that are in both. Pause the video and do that. And you should have gotten A, E, H, N, T. So that's a little exercise in the sample spaces. If it was asking, like, what's the probability of picking a letter that's in the union of mathematics and Pythagorean, uh, you just count this up and put that number over 26, and that'd be the probability. Uh, if it was asking for the probability of letters in the word mathematics and Pythagorean, uh, you'll just count this out. It's 4, and it'd be 4 out of 26. Because uh, 4 possible letters out of the 26 that meet that criteria. Uh, let's do another example, and this is towards the end. Uh, in fact, it's the end. So go to number six, and you're drawing some cards, and you're trying to figure out some of these probabilities. So remember, the uh, inside part here is telling you the events you're trying to, to figure out. So our first one here, the probability of pulling a card that's even or shaded. Well, you need to count how many cards are even. Remember, if it's or, we want probability of even plus probability that it's shaded, and we're going to subtract out the probability that it's even and shaded, um, which uh, you're just going to go through here, and it's going to be and see even. So you got one, two, three, four, five of them are even, and there's ten cards. And we're going to add on the, the probability that's shaded, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. There's four of those. And we need to subtract off the numbers that are even and shaded, which is 2 and 0. So we're going to subtract 2 tenths. And then that'll give you, let's see, 9 tenths minus 2. We got 7 tenths. So there you go. Answer probability of even or shaded. Uh, let's see if you can figure out the probability for B here. Um, just count what's the probability of getting white, what's the probability of getting odd, and then subtract out the probability of getting white and 
odd, and then you have your final answer. So pause the video, go ahead and figure it out. All right, did you get four fifths? Well, did you get eight tenths? Make sure you reduce fractions. If you can reduce your fractions, go ahead and reduce them. Uh, so the probability of getting white was six tenths, right? These these six white ones. And the probability of odd is five tenths. One, two, three, four, five of them are odd. And then you subtract out probability of both. Uh, there's one, two, three of them that are white and odd. And then you get four fifths or eight tenths, which we do to be a four fifths. Uh, and so, yeah, let's just go through the rest of these. I'll give you a moment to try them out. Uh, and then we'll have you check and see how you did. All right, probability less than four or shaded. The numbers less than four include these four. Uh, and so there are those, you see there's four of those, so it's four tenths. Uh, and then the probability of shaded, well, there's four of them that are shaded, and so that's four tenths as well. And then the probability of less than four and shaded, well, three of these are less than four and shaded, so we're going to subtract that off. Uh, and that gives you five tenths, which is one half. Uh, go ahead and try the next two, and then we'll have you check and see how you did. Pause the video, try it out. All right, let's have your check and see I did. Uh, on this one, probability of greater than five or shaded. Well, the probability of greater than five is these four numbers, so that's four out of 10. Uh, shaded includes these four cards, so that's four tenths again. And then which of those is shaded and bigger than five? That's nine. There's only one of them, so you subtract off one tenth. So you get seven tenths. Uh, the next one, you got factors of 10, which I don't know if you knew this, but the factors of 10 are numbers that divide evenly into 10, which include one, two, and five. Five. So there's three of them, uh, and then you have to figure out how many are white, and there's the six white ones, and then any of those that are factors of 10 and white is just number five here, uh, and so uh, you're going to subtract off one tenth, which is going to leave you with eight tenths, which comes out to be four fifths, and hopefully that gives you an idea of how these probabilities work. Uh, good luck uh, in all the assignment. Make sure you're checking on solutions. Make sure you're getting these calculations right. Good luck.